some quick analysis of what you thought of the fight. Which one? <laughs> That was a good fight. Uh, they both look pretty good uh, for their situation, for their ages. Um, it was a good fight, you know. Um, check, 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 check. Both showed positives, both showed negatives, which is in every fight. And now they're on the bigger and better things. Um, for me, I would like to see Pacquiao get a rematch with Floyd and call it a day. I like to see Broner go back and look at himself and start. Realize that if he let his hands go more, he can do a lot more damage and he can make people really believe in what he's telling them. It's just that he's not busy enough. If he gets busy, he'll see a lot more, he'll see a lot better results. Letting his hands go, was that more an issue of what Pacquiao was doing or is no, that a problem that Adrian like, has? Adrian didn't been doing the last two fights. So how can we blame on Pacquiao? It was the same thing with Vargas, it was the same thing with all of them. It's just that he got to be a little bit more busy. He, he's a good puncher, don't get it wrong. And like I tell people, what happened? So a lot of us sometimes is when we realize we got power, we just want to let a power shot. Like he drops Sean Porter in the 12th round. Keith Durham didn't drop Sean Porter. So it got to take your punch. But you can't depend on that. I think he got stuck kind of depending on his power. Do you think that's the case? Or do you, uh, I think it's the case because, truthfully speaking, me coming in, knowing I know Pacquiao been knocked out a few times, I'm going to think Pacquiao's Pac-Man. He works, 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 works. I'm not going to work him. I'm going to try to knock him out. So, Is there anything that Adrian can take away from that performance? Any positive? Yeah, he can take away the fact that he went 12 rounds with a legend and he held his own. That guy didn't go out there and run over. That guy might have won more than a round, but he didn't run over. So yeah, he can take a lot of positive from that. Now he got something to build on. What did you see Adrian Brown do after he got hurt? He recovered, recovered well, like a champ should do. So you can tell he was in shape because he recovered right away. Where do you think we see uh, Floyd and uh, Manny running Probably, back? probably. Probably. Is that something you're interested in seeing? Uh, for them, because of the amount of money they make, yes. For the comp competitive factor, not really, because I know that Florida's slick, Florida's fast, Florida's wit wise, <laughs> Florida won the best step. So it's going to be a very different day for Pack out to come in and change the way the first fight. But for them, the, money, the amount of money they'll make, I'm good. Are we going to get you commentating again? I don't know. We got to see. Thank you for the late. What did you think of Brody's right now? I'm tired of talking. <laughs> did, Pacquiao, did Pacquiao show any signs of, of his age? Yeah, of course he did. Of course he did. Um, and a lot of people don't notice, but when you get to see a fighter, as a fighter gets older, his legs have a hard time keeping up with him. I saw a couple times when he would throw punches, and he was in close to the throw more. Usually he would throw more, but he couldn't do it right because he was kind of off to the side of the not as close the leg point keeping you know, up with the hand. Yeah, you know, off and that the shows you that that's the age thing, but that happens with all of us. So it's not like it's something that's so detrimental that you shouldn't fight again. I'm not saying that, but you can see the difference, yeah. Do you think he should still be fighting like the younger guys? Florida. No, you should fight Floyd and call it day. Do you want to see him against any of them monsters no. at 147? No, I don't. What about Floyd too? I see him get Floyd, yeah. So but they about the same age. I mean that's your age, that's your age group. Still your jungle, I'm with that. Still your so, jungle, I'm with that. So the fight will be titled Battle of the OGs. That is. Right. Let's, let's do it. Roy, what about, what about your you, fighter? Did you see the My fighter did a very good job now. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, though. You gotta understand, that is as classy of a boxing match as you get. They're two of the most classy people in boxing that you're gonna see. They have a hard business towards one another. They got five Olympic games amongst them. Mm. You understand? They can walk around with their head up and down like they better than anybody on the court. Because mm. amateur credentials, they got more than anybody in here. Mm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. But they came out, they called a good fight. The one on one, the loser said, hey, great fight, call it there. That's what I love. You see two young men like that, that's what boxers should be predicated on. Those guys deserve far more credit than they get because those guys are the guys you want to set as examples for the young guys coming up. You know what I'm saying? Them two guys, both of them, they got all kinds of stuff they can talk about, they can brag about. You know what I'm saying? They fought, whatever you say, they cool with that, they gone. Tell us about the UFC deal. It's a good deal. Got about, um, they got about eight, anywhere from 12 to 18 fights a year for three years. Great deal. A lot of dates get a lot of people busy. Now I just gotta continue to fill up my roster with fighters and we all good. You made a champion today, how do you feel? Of course, you're really good, but I didn't make you brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.